Um, Mr. President, I ask that general business mo notice of motion number 1231, standing in the name of Senator Hanson Young, for today, relating to an order for production of documents relating to Mend Mendiri um, Lakes, be taken as formal. Is there any objection to this motion being taken as formal? There being none, Senator Seward. There is. There is an objection to that motion being taken as formal. We'll move now to motion number 1234. If possible, Senator Seward, are you in a position to move that on behalf of Senator Di Natale? No, I intend to uh, p uh, sus seek to suspend okay. standing orders pursuant to contingent notice. I move that so much of standing orders be suspended as it would prevent me from moving a motion to provide for consideration of this particular motion. So this move. You speak to the motion, Senator Seward. This is a particularly important uh, motion. It's an order for production of documents. I'm absolutely shocked that. Uh, yes, I know Senator O'Sullivan would think that it's acceptable to come into this place to yet again seek to uh, deny formality to a motion and disrupt, quite frankly, the orderly business of this chamber. This is a perfectly legitimate approach that Senator Hanson Young has asked to this chamber to consider. If he wants to vote no, he's got an opportunity to vote no. This is an order for production of documents that uh, Senator Hanson Young is seeking on a very important issue to do with water, to do with the Murray-Darling Basin, which has been so comprehensively mis mismanaged in this country. She has a perfect right to ask for these documents under an order for production of documents, which is what she did by putting this order of uh, uh, order for production of documents in. These lakes and the management of these lakes, as I understand it and recall from when I had this portfolio uh, over a decade ago, is um, a very important part of the way we manage water in the Murray-Darling Basin. I'd urge this chamber to support our, or, uh, our suspension of standing orders, to support that so that uh, Senator Hanson Young can move this motion. Um, in order for uh, the, the, to ensure that the order for production of documents is dealt with and voted on when Senator O'Sullivan and that side of the chamber can make their opinion well known to this place um, at that time, but at least allow us to put this motion in order to debate it. Senator O'Sullivan. Thank you, uh, Mr President. Well, um, there's a particular reason here. Uh, there was um, a References Committee co-sponsored uh, by Senator Hanson Young to investigate these matters, and uh, we, well, when you're Order. finished, I'll continue. So it was co-sponsored, and a reference, uh, a reference was put up, and we travelled all over the country to investigate these very issues. Senator Hanson Young turned up at one committee meeting, disrupted it made allegations that she couldn't substantiate, notwithstanding that she's been confronted by both the Australian Labor Party and our side of politics to withdraw the allegations in this place, at the committee meeting and at private meetings of the Regional and Rural Affairs Committee, and has denied to do that. So her opportunity to be able to get every one of these documents at some prior time, through the references and the power of a references committee of this Senate, has been in past, so you can only draw one conclusion. Again, this is, there's a pure political motive in behind this particular motion here today. Now that aside, that aside, I love the indignation of the Greens. It's very well refined. They've been denying formality on motions in this place now regularly. But of course, when the time comes and formality is denied to their motions. And I heard Senator Annie made a contribution before. They, they better get used to it, and I would agree with his contribution. Uh, all we get is this gross and false indignation out of them about interfering in the course of them being able to put a question to the floor of the Senate to be voted on. Now, we all know how this all started. I put a question 
to the floor of the Senate to have it voted on. I had formality denied, and I have done, and it has done on a number of occasions now, including yesterday. Uh, so this will go on and on. It is a denial of free speech. Although in this case, of course, Senator Hanson Young can't make that case, simply because she had a complete references inquiry where she could have asked every one of these questions and asked for every one of these documents, but didn't turn up. She didn't turn didn't up. She turn didn't up. front. She didn't turn up. What? It was her inquiry, co-sponsored with the Australian Labor Party, and she didn't turn up. There's a bit. Of, there's a bit. Of, there's a bit of Nick Xenophon in her, and I don't mean that to be a double reference. But there's a bit of Xenophon in her. References committees and not attending. So Senator, Senator O'Sullivan, the point, the point order, being, order, order, give me order. I'm, Senator O'Sullivan, I'm going to ask you to withdraw the comment for the comedy. Oh, well, I, I withdraw. There wasn't. There was no intention to to uh, to well, offend no, anyone. I, I, I'm right? just going to. Oh, so, se, so, se, se, Senator Di Natale. Senator Di Natale. Senator Di Natale, your behaviour is not doing uh, not very well. I asked the sen I, I asked the senator to withdraw. I'm going to ask him to withdraw unconditionally to make it clear. Senator O'Sullivan, I ask you to withdraw unconditionally. I wasn't happy to withdraw unconditionally, unconditionally because Thank you. there was no intent. Senator Lionhelm. Um, drop. Mr. Mr. President, uh, Senator Di Natale and Senator Steelejohn have both insulted and uh, used unparliamentary language in relation to Senator O'Sullivan as well. They call him a pig and uh, and other words which I'm not going to repeat. I ask you to invite them to withdraw heard, as well. I heard I did not hear any comment from Senator Steele John. Senator Steele John, if you made an unparliamentary comment, I ask you to withdraw it. Uh, I withdraw. Senator Di Natale, I ask you to withdraw your comments. I will not withdraw. Senator Di Natale, I'm asking you to withdraw your comments. I, will not I, withdraw. Called, I called I called Senator O'Sullivan to order and asked him to withdraw. Mr. Senator O'Sullivan has unconditionally withdrawn. That sort of language is not appropriate in the Senate. Well, I'm not I ask withdrawing. you to reflect upon that, and I ask you, I ask you to withdraw to facilitate the operation of this debate and for the comedy of the Senate. You have an opportunity to address both this debate, and if you wish to address the behaviour of another senator, there are other opportunities to do that. I ask you to withdraw. Uh, Mr. President, uh, we have endured on this side days of sexist filth coming from that man. Senator he Dinatale, is a not, pig Senator, Senator and Dinatale, he should okay. consider Senator and Dinatale, reflect on the uh, standards I, he Senator is adopting Dinatale, in this chamber. Senator, resume your seat. You are leaving me with no option, Senator Di Natale. Tali, I can give you one last opportunity to reflect upon that and to withdraw your comments. If not, I'll ask you to stand in your place and either explain your comments or um, apologise to the Senate and leave it to another senator to take the take matter into the hands of the Senate. Are you happy? Do you want me to be out? There are other opportunities to, to address the behaviour of senators, Senator Dean Tali. Well, if the Senate wishes to um, allow that behaviour to go unremarked, then it is. We will move on. Senator Ruskin. Uh, sir, Mr. President, um, I move that uh, Senator, Daly, Senator Di Natale be suspended from the Senate. So the question is that motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion say aye. aye. Contrary, no.
The ayes have it. Division required. Ring the bells. I didn't have much option. Thanks, Phil. Lock the doors. The question is that Senator Di Natale be suspended from the sitting of the Senate. If this motion is passed, Senator Di Natale will be suspended from now until the end of the sitting day today. At any time, Senator Di Natale is able to come to the Senate and withdraw his comments, and if the Senate allows, the suspension will be uh, waived. So, 
if Senator Di Natale doesn't wish to take that opportunity, I will put the motion. The eyes will pass to the right of the chair, the nose to the left of the chair. I appoint Senator Bushby teller for the eyes and Senator Seawitt teller for the nose. The result of the division is ayes 54, noes 9. The matter is resolved in the affirmative. Yeah. Senator Di Natale, I ask you to remove yourself from the chamber for the remainder of the day, and I remind you of the opportunity that is available to you to withdraw your comments at any point and resume your place in the Senate. Senator Wong. I seek leave to make a short statement. Leave is granted. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. That was a most regrettable set of circumstances, and I just want to make clear the position that the opposition uh, takes in relation to these matters. I have no doubt as to the offensiveness of the words that were allegedly spoken by Senator O'Sullivan. Well, all right. I'm happy to say that were spoken, uh, and our position on this motion does not reflect at all a view that that was appropriate. I am advised. Obviously, I've only just come into the chamber that Senator O'Sullivan was asked to withdraw, and he did. As a party of government, uh, we have always made clear, often in difficult circumstances such as today, that in opposition and in government, we support the procedures of the Senate uh, and have always supported order rulings of the President of the day. <coughs> it is clear from the advice I was provided that Senator Di Natale was given opportunity to withdraw by the Senate and refused to do so. In those circumstances, and we would apply this across the chamber, the opposition is left with no option but to support the chair in their reasonable exercise of their stand of standing orders. I do make clear again that nothing in the opposition's actions today in any way endorses uh, the statement that was made by Senator O'Sullivan in this chamber which I do regard and the opposition regards as reprehensible. Senator Hanson Young. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I seek leave to make a short statement. Is leave granted. Leave is granted, Senator Hanson Young. Thank you, Mr. President. As the um, person in this chamber of which the reprehensible and disgusting comments were directed to by Senator O'Sullivan, I want to make it very clear that I am thankful for Senator Di Natale, the standing up and calling them out. That is what real men do. Real men don't insult and threaten women. They don't slut shame them and they don't attack them and make them feel bullied in their workplace. I have sat in this chamber for weeks and weeks 
months and heard the disgusting slurs and attacks coming from a particular group in this place. And I, for one, am sick of it. And I know many of my female colleagues on all sides of politics are sick of it too. And I will name you because you are not fit to be in this chamber. You're not fit to represent your constituents and you're not fit to call yourselves men. Senator O'Sullivan, Senator Annie, Senator Bernardi, Senator Lionhelm. You day after day come into this place and hurl insults across this chamber, play the gender card, and the moment anyone stands up to you, you have the most fragile glass jaws of all. You Order. are cowards. Order. Every time you get Senator, called out, Senator you Hanks refuse Young. to be stand to stand Senator by Hanks it. and Young, um, Senator Wong on a point of order. This is already degenerated, I think, to a standard that is not what people should expect. No, I'm actually trying to defend her against being yelled at. Okay. So I would ask those opposite. I know that this is a difficult debate. But perhaps we can let Senator Hanson Young finish, and if opposition, if government senators wish to respond, they can. But if we could try and maintain some dignity in a very difficult time, I've not, in, in the time I have been here, uh, has seen a motion pass that we have just passed. So perhaps we can all perhaps reflect soberly on the fact that we've just had to do that. Yeah, yeah. Senator Hanson Young. Thank you, thank you, Senator Wong. I stand by the decision of. Uh, our leader, Richard De Natale, in um, he uttered the words that Senator O'Sullivan was a pig. He was asked to withdraw him. He's refused. I back him in that. However, however, I do reflect on what Senator Wong has just called for, and that is a little more decorum in this place. But let me say. Let me say, decorum does not mean sitting by and staying silent while people bully and intimidate. When people, when people come into this place, particular group of men come into this place and hurl insults across the chamber, expect to be called out and expect to be named and shamed from here on in or lift the standards. The Australian people are sick of seeing politics degenerate to such a disgusting low level. If we actually treated each other a bit better in this place, the voters would be better off, the parliament would be better off, and perhaps we could all get on with our damn jobs. Senator Fifield. Uh, th thank you, uh, Mr President. I'd seek uh, leave to make a statement. Leave is granted. Senator Fifield. Thank you, Mr President. Um, it is important for all colleagues in this place to uh, conduct themselves with uh, dignity uh, and with decorum. Uh, this is the place where we transact the people's business. Uh, I would note that uh, over the course of uh, this week and uh, recent weeks, uh, that section of the day known as housekeeping, uh, where motions are moved. Uh, where they're meant to be moved without debate uh, has increasingly uh, become fraught uh, and has uh, increasingly uh, become uh, a part of the sitting day uh, that does not uh, reflect well on this chamber. Um, can I acknowledge uh, those senators uh, who supported uh, the uh, the motion earlier, uh, who supported uh, the uh, the right uh, and the obligation of the Sen of the president of the Senate uh, to exercise in a reasonable fashion uh, the functions uh, of their office. But I do think, uh, Mr. President, uh, that uh, colleagues uh, should reflect uh, on the conduct that we have seen here uh, over recent days. Uh, and over the last few weeks uh, during the part of the day uh, when motions are moved, uh, all of us uh, should seek to be uh, our best selves and to present this chamber 
uh, in its best light, uh, as we all seek to do that which we are elected to do, uh, which is to undertake business uh, on behalf of uh, the people who elected us here. Uh, it is appropriate uh, that we do uh, pause and reflect. Senator Hanson. Thank you very much. You I seek leave? leave to make a short statement. Thank leave you. Is granted. Thank you very much. Um, I actually was in the chamber during this whole exchange. Um, I personally, as a woman, I listened to what uh, Senator O'Sullivan had to say. I didn't take it as being sexist whatsoever. And I, I, I have no problem with it whatsoever. He was asked to withdraw that comment, which he did. I see from the other side, Senator Hanson Young was not in the chamber. Whether she was watching this on, on television, when these comments were exchanged, she was not. But she came in late. So the whole fact is, I see, I see this again as basically Senator Hanson Young is a great actress, a really great Order. actress. So she will get up and she'll make her comments here. Talk about making sexist statements in this chamber or accusing others in this chamber of constantly having a go at Sarah Hanson Young, the senator, or the Greens is both hypocritical because constantly, over the last two and a half years, I have had comments thrown at me constantly all the time of how I'm a racist and other comments that have been made towards me. Now, I just see this as crocodile tears, theatrical, and to get the sympathy, and using this sexist tag because she's a female doesn't wash with me or a lot of other people. People, and people are absolutely fed up about what happens in the chamber because they don't want to see this from us, the leaders of this nation. And um, I just think it's so wrong. And the, the chamber voted correctly for, to suspend Senator Di Natale. He made um, comments towards uh, Senator O'Sullivan, which were uncalled for, and they were very much uncalled for, and they shouldn't have been said. So I'd say to the Greens, you know, it's a two-way street in here. You can't keep dishing it out to everyone else and don't expect to get the same back. We all have a place in this parliament. We've all been voted in by the Australian people, and we all should be have the respect here for each other. We may not agree on political views or issues, but the whole fact that we all have the right to have a say in this chamber. No, I'm sorry. The Greens have order. actually— Senator Wish Wilson on a point of order. Yeah, point of order, um, President. Um, Senator Hanson needs to direct her comments to the chair, uh, not, not directly Correct. to Senator Hanson Young. Senator Hanson. I will direct them to the chair and to the chamber. And the whole, what I'm saying here, Mr. President, is that we need to actually respect each other that have been elected here in this parliament. It has not shown the respect has not been shown to um, some of us on the crossbench by the Greens, um, and their comments across this chamber is unacceptable. And don't don't um, start crying wolf when the fact is that sometimes the finger needs to be pointed at the Greens and their behaviour in this chamber. So I've, um, I believe that Senator O'Sullivan, in his comments, I don't believe they were sexist, and I'm making that from a female's point of view, and I, I was in the chamber and I listened to his comments. I'm going to actually make an observation before I call another senator, if I can. I had hoped I would never use that standing order. I can't remember when it was last used. I think it was when John Howard was Prime Minister. It was actually before my time in Parliament, um, uh, more than 15 years ago. Can I, I made a statement when Parliament resumed here in August about behaviour in this chamber, about the language used, about the example we set and how this chamber needs to operate. Can I say I ask every senator to not just reflect on what they think they're saying but how it may be received or interpreted by another with a different life experience or perspective than yourself. That applies to a statement that may seem innocuous. It applies to a pejorative label that someone else may take deep offence to. There's very few there are very few people in politics with a halo who can't reflect on something they might have said that could have been expressed better. But if we cannot debate and act civilly in this chamber, that is the most representative chamber in this country, that is the prime legislative chamber of this parliament, 
then how can we expect people outside the chamber to debate and argue and disagree respectfully? Now, other people may make to wait comments. On this particular event, Senator O'Sullivan, the comment was inappropriate. I asked you to withdraw, I then I asked you to unconditionally withdraw, and I believed you did. It is regrettable that I had to uh, ask the Senate to enforce a ruling with respect to the privilege of the chair. Um, I hope I don't have to do it again. I'll call Senator, I'll call Senator Seawitt, then I'll come to Senator O'Sullivan. Thank you. I seek leave to make a short statement. Leave is granted. Um, firstly, I want to correct the record. Um, Senator Hanson Young was in the chamber when that comment was made. She was not um, in the chamber when I first moved her motion, but she came directly in as I was on my feet. So she was here when Senator O'Sullivan was making his statements. I know that Senator Denatale did not make his decision to not withdraw very lightly. No senator, I would think, in this place wants to get suspended. But that is how strongly Senator Denatale feels about what has been happening in this chamber, what we have been enduring at the end of this, at this part of the chamber. It is not just the usual banter, and we all engage, uh, engage in that usual banter. It is not the usual banter. And as a woman, I can say I was extremely offended by what I heard Senator O'Sullivan say, which I will never repeat. It was an awful thing for him to say. But what can happen is that the senator gets to withdraw an awful, disgusting statement that we've all heard, and that's it. And that's it. That is not good enough, and that's the point that Senator Denatale was making, is that to utter those statements, and it's not the first type of awful statement that we have heard at this end of the chamber, which I acknowledge, President, you don't always hear. I, that's because it's said at this end of the chamber and because of the acoustics, but we have endured that, and it is not acceptable. But somebody gets to say that and then withdraw it. That is the point that Senator Denatale is trying to make. Is that well, one of the, the is that that is not acceptable behaviour. We have been enduring it for a long time, and I agree with you. Things have to change, and it needs some leadership for it to change. But I hope never to hear somebody say that type of thing again in this Senate. Here, here. Senator O'Sullivan. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Mr. President. Uh, I seek leave to make uh, a short statement. Is leave granted? Leave is not granted. So we will, at this point, resume. Who, to, who, who we, denied me? I, I you don't, haven't heard, Senator. Order. You, you haven't heard what Senator, I've had to say, Senator O'Sullivan. Um, I'm not required. I've checked previously. I'm not required. Uh, order, Senator Macdonald, while I'm talking. While I'm talking, please. This is a difficult moment for the chamber. I'm not required to, to name a senator who denies leave. I've asked that previously. Um, leave has been denied by a member of the Senate. So at this point, unless someone else is seeking leave, we resume the suspension of standing orders debate. And you were in the middle of your speech, Senator O'Sullivan. I'm not sure. There was two minutes, two minutes remaining of the motion to suspend standing orders to allow the motion that Senator Seawitt moved to be considered as a formal motion. Used and attacked personally, and not given the right to defend himself and explain his position. Whether or not uh, it's Senator O'Sullivan or anyone else, it seems inappropriate, not in accordance with the uh, rules. Perhaps he should seek a personal explanation, but that requires leave. Yeah. And on the basis of what the leader of the opposition has just done, that would also be denied. So it seems inappropriate in Australia that you can be accused by name. And not given the right well, Senator to defend McDonald, yourself. I, I don't write the standing orders. I enforce them as determined by the Senate. There are other opportunities in the program of the Senate, including the open-ended adjournment on Tuesday, for senators to raise other issues. Uh, so, leave is not granted. Therefore, I will return the, the, to the debate on the suspension of standing orders. 
and I'll call Senator O'Sullivan to continue his contribution. Thank you, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, President. Mr. President, fortunately for me, uh, and I recommend that everyone in this place, as they want to make a determination of what was said in the course of that debate, go and read the Hansard very, very carefully. I resolve from nothing that I said. Uh, just one moment, please, please, uh, please, uh, no, please, Mr. President. I, I did withdraw it, and when you read the Hansard, you will see that I denied the connotation placed on my words, but I withdrew it to assist the chair. Now, I set the scene in my speech. The speech was about Senator Hanson Young, and I said two things. One is about how she co-sponsored a reference committee and then didn't turn up. Number one. Secondly, how did she deal with that? She comes in today to take up the time of the Senate with a motion in this place to debate it, to get a grandstand on broadcasting day. They were the actions of Senator Nick Xenophon. That's exactly champagne. And I, my comments to her, and I won't repeat them, you look at them in the context of what I've just said. I could not have prepared it. I, I, my debate was around her behaviour, and it reflected on the fact that she reflected uh, the operations, if you like, of Senator Nick Xenophon in more than one way. So you can do what you will with it. I will not. I feel. I, I don't feel one bit of embarrassment about the reference I made. I did withdraw it to assist the chair, but they're the one who've placed the connotation on it. And this happens every day with this crowd. They're the one who put some identification around it. They, they spoke even before they thought. And when everyone reflects, and I ask you to go to the Hansard, reflect on my speech, my contribution in the debate, reflect on what I said, put the two together, and you will arrive where I have guided you to. I did not, I did not make an imputation on to Senator Hanson Young in the manner that they have described. The question is that um, so much of standing orders be suspended as to allow motion number 1231 to be dealt with as a formal motion. Clark will correct me if I have that wrong. I will put that motion. Those of that opinion say aye. aye. The contrary, no. no. The ayes have it. So I will now allow you to um, move motion 1231, Senator Hanson Young. Thank you, Mr. President. I ask that general business notice of motion number 1231, standing in my name for today, regarding an order for production of documents relating to Menindee Lakes be taken as formal. Um, the effect of the previous motion, I think, was to take it as formal, so I'll take you as having moved the motion. I move the motion. The question is that motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion say aye. Aye. Contrary, no. The ayes have it. 